In this lesson, I want to show you how to create the About Us page. Now, there are two ways that you can do this. You can use the, either the Joomla default or you can use the SP Page Builder um, to create it. Now, I recommend using the SP Page Builder only because it allows you a lot of flexibility if you have to move some things around. So you just go to New, and we're just going to call this About Us. Well, let's choose the carousel. And then let's scroll here. I want to put this for the CSS class. And all that we're going to do now is just to grab this image. So I'm choosing this image for that one. And I'm just going to delete this content. And come here, and we're just going to replicate the process again just to copy this. So copy. And then we're just going to change the images for this. So let's change this here. And once again, your blog, and I'm sorry, your about us is so important because people want to connect with you. They want to know you know who you are so for this i'm just using the carousel images but if you have a picture of your staff your team your crew your posse your network whoever that you roll with you know you can put that there okay just make sure that this is set to no and then you want to click on save and we are going to add some text all right let's add this make this a two column and as I mentioned before, you can change the proportion in terms of how big one section is and how little another section is. So let's just make a custom one here. So you click on that. So we're going to put this 9 and 3, which equals to 12. So now if you realize that if you feel like that's too small, you can change it again by clicking on that. And then you can change, let's try 8 and 4. So if you notice now, it's changed. So let's add some text in this section. This right here is the text block. Just label it about us. And then you want to click on save. And in this part, we're going to add a video. So you have the option when you're adding a video, you can add a Vimeo video or you can add a YouTube video. So I've added some content here. And you can just grab a link from either YouTube or Vimeo and just put it there. And it's going to automatically you know, import it and show for you. Okay, so let's add one more here. The call to action that we just added is the same as the other ones that we did before. So uh, you can pretty much just use the same settings from that one. And then you wanna click on save. And what we have to do now, we wanna add a background image for this. So scroll down, I'm gonna choose this cover. And then we'll go to the bottom here for the pattern. 150 pixels by zero, apply, and save. So I just want you to get in the habit of saving every time that you create a module or you add something new, because if you keep adding stuff and adding and you don't save it, then you can lose that stuff and you have to you know do it all, all over. It's gonna log you out. And make sure that you click on the add container and then let's save this. So when you view the page now, it looks something like this. But if you notice here, this text, you can barely see that, and the book is not really visible. So you want to, if you want to change that, you certainly can. For the title, you can leave it as that. For the title color, let's put something there like that. And let's go over to the title, subtitle, which is this one right here. And then right now, you can barely see it's just white, so we want to make that too a little darker. That should work. And then let's uh, let's save it. So once you refresh the page now, it's a lot more visible and it's a lot clearer so that people can be able to see uh, what it looks like. So that's pretty much how you're working about us. Uh, let's move on to the next lesson.